Hello, my name is Amir. I'm pleased to say that I'm a dental surgeon and I'm here to talk to you. A budding dental or a medical student, a GP or a GDP, or anyone for that matter, about the streptococcus tonsillitis and a streptococcus sore throat. And so the next important infection causing tonsillar involvement in the mouth is not a virus, is a bacteria, is a streptococcus, streptococcus tonsillitis and is the main cause of outbreaks of sore throat in institutions like schools, hospitals, army barracks. And people will just go down with a sore throat, a very severe sore throat. And you can say that patients are febrile, they feel unwell, they have chills, and they have a very severe sore throat. And that is caused by the beta hemolytic streptococcus of Lanceville Group A. And if you look inside the mouth, the mouth would generally be red and inflamed. And if you look at the tonsils, you will see that there are little beads of pus, little spots on the tonsillar pits. And on the tonsils themselves, there would be enlargement of the draining lymph nodes around the tonsils. And in the neck, there would be enlargement of the jugular lymph glands. There would be lymphadenopathy enlargement of the draining lymph nodes and because this is a bacterial infection and not a viral one the white blood count would be raised and indeed there is and a blood count of 11 to 15,000 with 80% polymorph leukocytes neutrophils would be in favor of a bacterial infection and a streptococcus won't come to that